Um, what do you think this sound is? Did you know my cough sometimes sounds like a car starting? I mean, ABC Family, they've been airing, you know, the 25 Days of Christmas, and they, they play a lot of the classics, and you know, Miracle on 34th Street, and Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, and all, all that fun stuff. But I mean, as someone who grew up in the 90s and um, a little and in the 2000s, I mean, we have a different set of holiday movies that appeal to us. And so, Fat Man and a Little Girl for Fat Man and a Little Girl TV have decided to put together a list of uh, solid contemporary holiday movies that, uh, that uh, we could get our Christmas on. Very true. Could get our Christmas on, too. <laughs> Because they kill Santa Claus, right? And then Tim Allen becomes Santa Claus. Mm -hmm. And then, he, well, he doesn't want to be Santa Claus. That's the thing. That's the thing. Claus. It's, but it's part of the clause. The clause with an E. With so it's, it's a little bit of lawyer humor. So, you know, if, you're, if you are smart, you'll be like, ooh, that's clever. And then if you're not smart, you'll be like, ooh, I don't care. Okay. It's sort of like, it's sort of, you know, you see all these old movies with like the toy trains and like the teddy bear and the Island of Misfit Toys and you know, you're like, oh, okay, Christmas, yeah, I get it in the spirit. But you see a movie like Santa Claus and it sort of makes you think, oh my God, this could happen. Yeah, Christmas Santa could fall time. off of my yeah. roof. Because like you'd watch those movies and like you'd see the, like the toy trains or whatnot. They wouldn't look right. like toys you'd play with. Like I never got a toy train in my life. Maybe someone slamming a door. Jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride it. And let Arnold Schwarzenegger get me a toy. So, jingle all the way. <laughs> and I thought it was the coolest thing in the world. They were making a movie about how hard my parents worked to get me my very own Red Ranger for Christmas. <laughs> Made in 2003 with Will Ferrell. And, and Zoe Deschanel when she was blonde. You know what I liked about Elf is that, I mean, I just like just Will Ferrell's energy, you know what I mean? And like, there's the yeah. bits where he's going around, like, just eating pieces of gum. Well, like, yeah, oh, it's because awesome, you know? the overall concept is so yeah, great. I mean, awesome. taking an elf out of the North Pole and putting them in, in, in New York City, like, yeah, no, it's one of my favorite it's, parts it's, is when he, he pops in, he sees that sign mm -hmm. for the world's greatest coffee, and then he just, like, pops in, and it's this, like, run-down mm -hmm. diner, and he goes, congratulations, you did it! <laughs> um, maybe a really heavy book bag, like, fell on the ground or something. Okay, so it's a pound of chocolate. I know. I know it's a little much. You can build a house out of that. So Muppet Christmas, here's the thing with Charles Dickens' Christmas Carol, is the first version you see is really the only version you're going to care about, because it's all the same thing. Right. You know what I mean? The guy is visited by ghosts, he has a change of heart, everyone is happily ever after, and Timmy doesn't die for being, you know... A cripple. Yeah. Not that know. there's anything wrong with being a cripple. 